In the mid-1990s, both aircraft manufacturers and airlines began to discuss the future requirements for a brand new, ultra-high-capacity aircraft, which was capable of carrying over 500 passengers and weighing over 1 million pounds. Now, they would be put into service in 5 to 10 years, and Boeing, McDonnell Douglas and Airbus all investigated various different designs. So we know that Airbus created the A380, and perhaps Douglas's MD-12 is much less known, but very few people know about the Boeing NLA or the new large aircraft. First, the development team looked at the C-17, which is a high-wing military transporter made by the newly acquired McDonnell Douglas. It seems like a strange choice to convert this aircraft into a passenger model, however they were intrigued by the possibilities with this design and its emergency evacuation layout which would have to evacuate over 500 people in just 90 seconds. So they visited Lockheed Martin looking at the C5 and finally the Antonov 124 that was visiting Seattle. The result was a C17 lookalike named the model 763-241. Its most prominent features included a high wing, four turbofan engines and a T-tail of up to 21 meters high. Its wingspan was 80 meters long, which was 16 meters longer than the 747-400. Wind tunnel testing also showed that the aircraft was capable of speeds higher than Mach 0.9, approaching the speed of sound. However, the aircraft proved to be too difficult for ground support despite its promising size and features. The height of the tail and the immense distance between the engine and the ground will lead to many operational difficulties. So they scrapped the whole idea, and by 1998, they began work on a design resembling the 777 but with a four-engine wing layout. Now the Boeing 763-246C concept aircraft was a 450 plus single-decker, four-engine wide body, which could enter service as soon as 2006. Their performance targets include 10% lower operating costs than the upcoming A380 and a composite wing would also be used. After many iterations, the final design featured a 14,300km range aircraft which could carry around 454 people. An extended range version could fly 16,600km, allowing flights from Europe to Australia. Now a further stretch of design was suggested, which could hold up to 547 people, with overhead sleeping accommodation for 82 people. All versions had three aisles, and they all sat on a single deck, except there were sleeping berths above. It would be the world's longest aircraft at 82 meters. Now the most significant advantage of the A380 would be the revenue cargo volume. The design of the A380 called for a 25% capacity jump over the 747 400. Nearly the entire jump is achieved with the addition of the full-length double-deck. While this is a very efficient and convenient method of adding capacity while minimizing overall dimensions growth, it had a severe drawback. It adds virtually nothing to the lower cargo holds. Now the 747-400 has a listed lower hold volume of 6,025 cubic feet. The A380 has a total volume of 6,045 cubic feet, which is an increase of less than 0.5%. Now the 763-246C design would have a cargo hold to match its extended width. Not only does it gain another passenger aisle, but also another row in the hold. Also, the 246C would be significantly longer than the A380, which would further enhance its cargo advantage. <laughs>